One of the very first things almost every photographer adds to their setup is a tripod and a ball head to position your camera and to hold it steady. There are hundreds of ball heads on the market and they almost all work the same way, except for one, the platyball. Now, little ball heads usually have a single knob and that locks down or loosens up everything, including panning and tilting all at once. Great for convenience, but not so much for precision adjustments or anything other than small cameras. Then higher end precision ball heads have separate knobs and clamps for every function, like holding the plate attached to your camera, tilting, tension adjustments, and smooth panning. So what's going on here? Precision with no knobs. That means that you can just grab the platyball naturally with or without a mounted camera, loosen the ball head, get it into position, and lock things down again, all with just one hand. You can use these mechanical buttons to loosen things up and get your camera where you want it and to secure it in place. And you see how I'm pressing the buttons a few times? That's so that I can choose the exact amount of grip tension that I want. There's no need for a separate tension knob. Super loose, super solid, and everywhere in between. The smooth design means that there's no knobs sticking out and bumping into things when it's sitting in your camera case. Lots of ball heads have a dedicated pan function so that you can move your camera horizontally. But the big problem is when you can't get your tripod exactly perfectly level. Maybe because of the terrain, the panning just isn't going to be level. The platyball is one of the only ball heads that has the panning function at the top. So even with an angled tripod, you just level up your platyball. Then smooth level panning couldn't be easier because the pan head is at the top. This dial locks or releases tension for that smooth panning, and that's from that same natural one-handed grip so that you can loosen or tighten it. And don't get me started on vertical panning with old school ball heads. With the platyball, just tilt it left or right, and you're ready for the vertical pan in seconds not minutes. Now, think about leveling your camera on your ball head. Sometimes you can use a bubble level, like the one that's built into all kinds of ball heads. But when you mount your camera and it covers up the bubble level, you won't be able to see it. Or if your camera is too high, or if it's too dark, you just can't see that bubble level. The Platyball Elite fixes that for you. The Platyball Ergo and Elite are mechanically identical for your positioning controls, but the Elite adds the world's first and only electronic leveling indicator. It works in six orientations, which a bubble level never can do, and you can use it day or night, straight up or 90 degrees sideways for those vertical panoramas, or even just a vertical orientation for stills and videos. And there's one more feature of the Platyball that I haven't seen with any other ball head on the market. Thanks to these open slots on the Base, you can carry your platyball on a carabiner. The platyball ergo and elite are super easy to use, but since they work in ways that no other ball head ever invented has, we got a quick user video about the mechanical controls of the ergo and elite, and we also have a separate one all about the elite's electronic level controls. So that's why platyball. It's obvious that the platyball ergo and elite makes sense for all kinds of shooters in lots of ways, but why now? Three words, best price ever.